everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm actually starting at about five o'clock because I'm going to be doing like a kind of night routine. It's just basically going to be a vlog but just of my evening. I really don't do much in my evenings. Um, I would probably do more if I was going out to work and then coming back or whatever, but um, that is not a thing because we are like still in lockdown at the moment. It's like five o'clock and I'm not gonna lie to you, all I'm doing at the moment is sitting and watching YouTube. If you enjoy videos like these, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you want to see more sort of vlog style lifestyle videos in the future. like half past seven I had my food as you would have seen and um tidied up after that I actually really like cooking because especially at the moment because it gives me something to do and I have a zoom call at nine with a few of my really good friends for one of their birthdays um so that will be really fun not something that I haven't done something like that in a while. I might play Animal Crossing now, I'm not really too sure what else to do. I do play Animal Crossing in the evening a lot, but I am at a bit of a rut with my island. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. It is not the same, it is not the same day, but you wouldn't know any different because I look exactly the same. Um, basically yesterday that Zoom call went on way longer than I anticipated, I don't know why I didn't really think about that. Um, so it wasn't really an accurate reflection of my standard night routine. So I'm not one of those people who can stay up late, obviously unless I'm like out or doing something, like I'm a natural... I think because of the time that I go to bed, I'm also like a natural, naturally wake up earlier than a lot of people my age as well, um, which I like. And if I go to bed any later, I pretty much wake up at the same time. As I said, I just naturally wake up at that time. So it just makes me feel really tired even if I sleep for longer. Um, and I just don't really have anything to do that means I wanna stay awake. Like I like my sleep. So usually I will be sleep between 11 and 12 um but i do often like to get ready for bed a bit earlier because if i leave any later i get tired and then i can't be bothered to get up and brush my teeth and all that sort of thing um so i am gonna do that now and then that means that i don't have to move i always take my water bottle to make sure i fill it up because i like it to be full in the morning and i need water in the night just in case probably <laughs> I thought I would, I'll probably speak funny now because I do have my retainers in. I don't actually, I might actually just take them out with this clip. So I have had my braces off for just over a year now, which um, I think means like I don't have to wear them every single day. Um, so usually it's, I just don't wear them on weekends or something. But to me, they're not an inconvenience. Like I don't mind wearing them um, and it feels weird not wearing them. So 
um i really don't mind but obviously if i forget i beat myself up about it i don't really have um like a skincare routine for like the morning or the evening um i've never really used that many products on my face i think i just don't really want my skin to become dependent on certain products i guess um but i thought i'd run you through um what i would use if i was using it and this is mainly like if i'm wearing makeup as well so what i do actually use to take off my makeup with is coconut oil um i pretty much only wear eyebrow makeup and uh, mascara so um it doesn't really go onto my skin in general um but i just find it good for that and it's also really good um like low waste option because the jar can be recycled and it also lasts a really long time so you don't have to buy anything new take off that i thought i'd just mention them because it's also something that i have been using for probably about a year now and i love them um it's just reusable cotton pads i'm going to try and link the ones that i used below i don't think i'll ever go back to using normal cotton pads there's no need to i basically got like a pack of 20. i don't use them every day anyway but basically the system i have is when there's 10 in the dirty one i put that in the wash just because then i've still got 10 left but they basically just look like this um they do get stained it doesn't always wash out depending on what you've put on it i tend to um like because i use these to take off like nail polish as well i will save those certain ones full nail polish because otherwise I'm gonna like make all of them really really dirty um but they're really nice really soft and you're not chucking them away but they basically comes with a little bag like this um I just use mine to put the dirty ones in and then I just tie the bag up so they don't all fall out and then chuck this in the wash and they get nice and clean and then something that I use more in the mornings but might occasionally use in the evenings if my skin just feels like it needs like an extra wash sometimes you know when you just feel really oily and just greasy and just dirty and you just need that other than that i'll probably just like rinse my face with cold water after i wash my take my makeup off um but it's this vitamin c um like daily glow cleansing polish from the body shop um I find this really nice for my dry skin it often especially in the morning i like it because if i put it on it exfoliates my skin and it makes it nice and smooth and not dry any longer so that's really really nice and then i'll often moisturize i do that before bed usually anyway um and that is the stretch that i go with kind of products um so now basically i've sort of done all the bathroom stuff um I am going to go onto my hair, so I actually sleep with my hair tied in a low ponytail. I don't know how long I have been doing this for now, but I basically brush it, make sure it's all nice and brushed, but every time I'd wake up my hair would be really knotty and I was like, it would be really annoying to brush through and it wasn't really very healthy, so I started sleeping in like a low ponytail. It's just something that I like to do. Um, that's now a habit. It's a really cute hairstyle. I always use a scrunchie because they're like the softest. Um, but I literally just sleep with my hair like this. Um, and now I'm gonna go and get into my pajamas. Not very interesting, but pajama check. If you see me in the mornings, this is the. <laughs> The hoodie that I normally have it lives on my bed so it gets used for mornings and for evenings. Really as well just before I go to bed I will just have a quick room tidy up there's really not much for me to tidy up but I'm just going to do that really quickly. Now, um, going into when I get into bed, sometimes I will read. I am going to be honest and say this doesn't happen very often. I think I'm just more of a morning reading person. But once I've sort of, I might sit up in bed for a little bit and watch some things or like read or something. But to fall asleep, it's probably a really bad habit. Um, but otherwise, I find it really difficult to fall asleep unless I'm actually really tired. Um, I will lie awake for a really long time so usually what I will do is I will watch a TV show on my phone and I will most likely fall asleep whilst I'm watching that usually I will like drowsily wake up and just like 
turn my phone off and like put it on my bedside table um sometimes i'll wake up next to it which is probably kind of bad but um my choice for that evening was Wiz wizards of a waverly place um i like watching old disney shows a lot um and that's pretty much what i do until i fall asleep